Okay, same with compliance. Instead of asking for a big jump from here to here, you're jumping here to here to here to here. And each step relatively is a much shorter jump and therefore much easier for the girl to comply with. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today I wanted to talk about some jokes you can use that I personally use to sexualize your interactions, okay? To make it a vibe that is more than friends, okay? They call that in the pickup and game community, the man to woman frame, okay? Before we continue, if you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe below. If you find video, sorry, if you find value in this video, please like and please share. The more likes and shares we have, the quicker the channel will grow. I'm back to daily videos, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, so my big go-to joke, okay, both in person and on dates, is to use the reference, that's what she said, okay? I teach this on my live programs and my course. First of all, before I go into the details of that, let's take a step back and look at why it is important to sexualize and make things of the frame where it's more than friends, okay? Keep in mind, if you were to go on a date, right, and you were to just have these interactions, these conversations, and it was like full platonic, or as I refer to the term I invented was information exchange, right? You're like, so where do you live? She's like, oh, I live in this area. What do you do for work? I do this. What kind of stuff do I have to do? Oh, this and this. Cool, and an hour of that goes by, and there's no sexualization, right? Like if you were to look at a graph of the increase of sexualization, it's not happening, okay? Then by some miracle, you get her to agree to come to your house. She's probably gonna be bored and probably see you as just a platonic friend at that point if you do that for a full hour. But if you were to go to her house after that, or sorry, you would go to your house after that, if by some miracle she agrees to come back with you, and then all of a sudden you try to physically escalate or start making sexual remarks, then it's gonna seem incongruent with the frame that you already set, okay? What that means is it's gonna like throw her off, right? So like mystery, he talks about in the book Mystery Method, he says you want it to be like this gradual thing, okay, same with compliance. Instead of asking for a big jump from here to here, you're jumping here to here to here to here, and each step relatively is a much shorter jump and therefore much easier for the girl to comply with, okay? So with sexualization, you wanna be peppering in these sexual jokes okay, throughout the whole in-person interaction and throughout the whole date, okay? And then you calibrate if you happen to go over the top or it's like too much, right? But it's better to do too much than not enough, okay? That's the general rule. And at this point, I'm conditioned to twist everything sexual. And oftentimes girls will say like, oh, is that all you're thinking about? Or like, that seems to be like every joke. But that's when I know to like tone it back a little bit. But it's good to make those jokes because then you are raising the, so this is where like last minute resistance comes from. Okay, last minute resistance, otherwise referred to as LMR in the community. The guy is back with the chick and she doesn't want to hook up. And it, it's because it's coming out of nowhere, right? Like the kiss or like trying to sleep with a girl shouldn't just be like this big jump, right? You should be making sexual remarks throughout the whole in-person interaction or the date, okay? And then, um, it's gonna be like this gradual buildup and you're also gonna be introducing physicality. So getting back to the, the joke that I most commonly make, that's what she said. Okay, this comes from the show, The Office. I think that, that's where it originated from. And it's basically just turning anything sexual and you can use it for things that don't even sound sexual. But classic examples, if she says like, oh, it's really wet outside because it was raining. That's what she said, right? Because girls can be wet. Oh, today was really hard. Today was really long and hard. That's what she said, right? Any any possible thing that can be possibly twisted into something sexual, you're gonna say that's what she said. And you can even say it for things that don't apply, right? She's like, yeah, today was okay. And you're like, that's what she said, right? And that now, and it's funny too, right? Like I'm laughing, I'm usually laughing like really hard when I say that kind of stuff. But I'm also making facial expressions like, she's like, today was really hard. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what she said, ha ha ha, right? So that is a joke that I use that I, that's, that should be like your go-to line, okay? When you want to sexualize things, okay? And then regarding other jokes, okay? Specifically sexual jokes, don't be afraid to make the joke, okay? Unless it's like super extreme, don't be trying to 
trying to micromanage what's coming out of your mouth. So if the joke comes to mind, boom, say it, okay? And that should be how you conduct all your verbals, both in an in-person interaction and on a date, okay? You don't want to be thinking, oh, maybe she won't like this joke. Maybe she will be offended. Maybe I'm being presumptuous. And a lot of guys are afraid to make a sexual remark, okay? Because they think the girl is going to be offended, okay? Now, another go-to that I will typically do is commenting about some mannerism she has, okay? So say like when she, when she laughs a bunch, like she bites her lip, right? Like she's like, mmm. Or like, say that like when she laughs, she's like, ha, 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 ha. Like, I'll be like, when you laugh, it sounds like you're having an orgasm. Or when you bite your lip, that, this or that, right? So something that she's doing, you can turn it into something sexual as well, okay? So that's another one that I do. But in general, have the mindset that you want to be making sexual jokes, okay? It's a huge part of game, okay? For those of you that watched my trip advice interview yesterday, if you have not, that is on the, the homepage of the channel. Um, trip talks about in his system, one of the big components is sexualization, okay? If, if you're missing that, which most guys are, okay, from my experience with clients and seeing in the forums and stuff like this, a lot of your interactions are gonna be that platonic friendly information exchange the girl will become bored. When you finally do decide to incorporate physicality or sexual remarks, she already have put you in the friend zone category and already have made up her mind that she probably does not want to sleep with you. Okay, so do not fall into that trap of trying to play it safe and like be the nice guy and, and, and not make those jokes because you don't want to offend her and all this stuff. Okay, if the girl is like super, super prude or conservative, the first time or two you make a joke like that, you're gonna see she's gonna be like, whoa. And, and then you just play it off. So if, if she's ever offended, okay, whether because she's prude or conservative or just because you're like hammering away at jokes like that, like I typically do, then you're like, ha ha ha, I'm just kidding. Then you know to tone it back, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please do that right now by clicking the subscribe button below. Make sure you turn on the notification bell to get alerted of my new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, I want these roasts to be good. I'm planning on putting out one every Sunday. I did not have time to prepare properly for this Sunday's, okay? So we'll shoot for the next one. The first one being next week, okay? I'll have my editors go crazy with that and it will be awesome, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, lots of really cool stuff. I'm, I'm starting to like list out a whole bunch of topics for the channel. Um, Corona pickup. I'm thinking about raising the price again. Right now it's under $100. If you are interested in that, go to coronapickup.com. Um, the price will probably be going up to $150 some point, at some point soon, okay? Um, to recap one more time what you get with that, it's my online game system on steroids, okay? It does have corona-specific adaptations, but it goes into all my big online game, like, secret sauce type stuff. Okay, if you have Lee's machine already, it goes beyond that. So it will be applicable far beyond Corona. If you're morally opposed to meeting girls during Corona and quarantine times, social distancing times, you can still use the system afterwards. It will give you amazing results. And you get a free call with me as part of that and one month free to my mastermind mentorship group. Okay, it's under $100 right now at coronapickup.com. And I will see you guys on the next video. I'm John Anthony. Take care.